a civil society organization under the auspices of Coalition of National Interest Defenders, have raised alarm over an alleged plot by the State Security Service to frame the central bank governor, Godwin Emefele, for terrorism. Addressing a joint world press conference, the convener of the coalition, Tochuku Ohazurike, alleged that the security agency filed a motion in court accusing the CBN governor of financing terrorism and other related crimes. The group further alleged that the claims, as established by the secret police, was targeted at forcefully and wrongfully removing the CBN governor from office. The state security service made grave allegations, including terrorism financing against the central bank governor and other allegations, we were informed, are termed as economic crimes of national security dimension. Yet, he allowed that same person to travel with the president and have unrestricted access to the person of the president. While the director general of the state security service agreed not to disclose the identity of the person he brought to the court when he demanded detention orders against the person. What did the director general of the state security service believe would become of the value of our Naira in these trying times if you obtain the order and the headlines have hit that the Central Bank of Nigeria the governor was arrested for financing terrorism. We condemn the laboring of the CBN governor as a terrorist by the SSS. You can accuse a referee of anything, but to call him a terrorist, that is unbelievable. Furthermore, we condemn the attack on the policy by governors as they are major cause of the poverty ravaging the country. The groups, however, called on President Muhammadu Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, to set up a panel to arrest, investigate and prosecute the DG SSS, Yusuf Magaji Bichi, over the development. Palang Booker, CNN News.